crisis and an opportunity. Uh, they have, you know, sustained economic growth, um, has brought uh, millions out of poverty, uh, and has created a new middle class. Uh, but they have, and they have the means to invest in um, homes. However, as families migrate from rural to urban area uh, in search of economic opportunities, um, it has led to rapid urbanization and, and, and a crisis um, in the affordable housing sector. Now take that and 1.6 billion people that are in need of affordable housing and overlay that with the COVID crisis. And there you have an absolute need, you know, to find solutions that are going to make Ed and Gina uh, more productive uh, and a happier, healthier family. We still consider affordable housing one of the many sectors that are yet to be explored from an investment interest point of view, especially the way we look at it as private equity or venture capital investments. So we just need to change it, to change it. but the reason we believe it's a very good, it's still a viable sector is because of the fact that I think it's, housing is still a basic need for most people. And then secondly, also at least not to contextualize it, to bring it to a situation, uh, there is already the, the government agenda of making housing or affordable housing one of the big four agendas. And on that basis, of course, uh, all investors will be looking at where the government wants to spend money. And then once you see there is government interest in a specific sector, it mm -hmm. in itself raises the investment interest that you have as, as angel investors or, 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 or or other early stage venture capital investors. We can attack the problem of affordable housing uh, through multiple lenses, right? So I, I think what Jyoti's point on the wraparound services or looking at other services as well along with housing, I think is an absolutely brilliant point, which just triggered this thought, um, you know, continue to innovate on the finance side. So definitely you know, explore blended finance options to, um, you know, see how you can seed more entrepreneurs and uh, help builders. The second is the point of the demand aggregation that I made. I think if you want to scale up, uh, you know, affordable builders definitely have to look at technology to support them to do that. Um, the third is, um, you know, integration, backward integration. So even if, you know, there are some entrepreneurs who are um, slightly smaller, if they can tap into the industry, the larger builders, and see if their product, their material can, you know, uh, be accessed by these builders, again, that would provide them sort of B2B solutions for the product that they're innovating on. I think these three things would definitely help, um, you know, scale up the market. If you give people tin roof, that's all they will have as a product. But you invest in entrepreneurs that are creating alternative technology that are also cheaper and affordable, people will pay for them because in the end, people care for good housing and good solutions to their house. Mm -hmm.